Carla Zanet, Head of PE, and I teach on their GCSE P course. Um, it develops two areas, a practical area, um, which is students will continue to develop their skills and their decision making, um, much as they have done throughout Key Stage 3. And the second area is they'll develop their knowledge with regards to theory, and the course is 60% uh, theoretical. Um, so areas such as anatomy and physiology, movement analysis, um, physical training, sports psychology, sociology, so there's a lot of areas within that which students will develop their knowledge. So from a college point of view, the GCSE PE course in particular allows you to access A-level PE. Um, it also allows a lot of students go, do go on to study on the BTEC course through having studied the GCSE at Ofcom. Um, and then also some of them with regards to the service courses, so in the, the Army, Navy, Police, those sort of courses. Um, I think sport's such a massive field, a lot of people think about it in terms of the practical nature of the sport, being a sportsman or sportswoman, um, but there's also the other side such as sports development, um, clothing, sports clothing companies, coaching, physiotherapy, um, personal training is really big now, um, so there's lots of different areas you can go into um, as well as kind of your traditional PE teacher route. Okay, so this is, this is quite a key part to the course as to whether if you're making a decision between GCSE PE and the Cambridge National course. So the GCSE PE course is broken down into two elements. One which is the practical element, which is the bit students associate with the course. That's worth 40% and the key for this part of the course is that they get assessed um, as a, an individual sport, a team sport and then either an individual or a team sport. So there is there's kind of restrictions as to what they can be assessed in. So what we're looking for here is students who already take part regularly in those sports. Um, there's a list on the brochure that goes out which shows the sports which we're allowed to assess students in. So it's really important that students don't think, oh, I'd quite like to take up that sport. They already need to be actively engaged in those sports, both within their lessons and extracurricular. Um, in order for students to access marks, they already need to be established on, in those sports. Um, so the, the list is quite big. There's also, you notice on the list, activities that students won't have accessed in PE. So things like we've assessed students in the past in golf, swimming, horse riding, um, gymnastics. Um, all of these activities though, the students, they don't just choose to take part in them once they get to Key Stage 4. They are already actively engaged in those sports, taking part not just um, as a recreational level, they are all competing in those sports. So um, it is looking at those high level performers. So the Cambridge National course um, is a little bit different because students in the way in which students are assessed. So they, there's not such a big um, element on, the, on them performing practically, if you like. It's more about the write-up, about how they performed, whereas the GCSE course, it does come down to your skill level and your decision-making, which we give grades for across those three areas. Um, I generally think the students get a buzz out of the theory content because they start to understand in greater depth than Key Stage 3 why their body feels like it does when they take part in sport. Um, the psychology of the mind, why is it that some athletes crumble under pressure and others don't? Um, biomechanics, why is it that someone with longer levers can throw a ball further um, and, and using different technique? All that stuff, so you suddenly see them go, oh I get it now, I understand that and then even implement that into their own play when they take part in sport. Um, I think they quite enjoy that part of it. I think the only thing that really comes up that if students are looking to go on to do A-level PE, the GCSE course is the one to take because you have to, because it's assessed through um, exams, examination, the same way in which A-level is, you do have to learn the information, whereas the Cambridge National course, you complete an assignment and then move on. You don't necessarily need, you need to understand and be able to apply the information, but you don't necessarily need to learn it, um, whereas with the GCSE if you haven't learnt that information you're sudden, and it's got almost the stepping block to A-level, um, it will mean that you won't, you won't have that, that base in order to then start applying your A-level knowledge. <laughs>